I went on a four hour train trip and I thought, what a great opportunity to practice some coding and build a train simulation. I began by setting up the project using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. I added a red canvas element and began by drawing a relatively large circle in the middle of it. I wanted the circle to act as a mask with feathered edges, kind of like a peak hole onto the canvas. So I used a radial gradient with a transparent middle part like so. Then I defined the track as an array of three points. The first is the starting point, the last is the end point, and the middle is a control point for a quadratic Bezier curve. I drew the track as a simple curve for now, using the built-in quadratic curve 2 method of the canvas context, and prepared an animate loop to move a point along this track. I implemented the linear interpolation function, check this video if you don't know what that is, and used it to animate the point from the start of the track towards the end in a linear fashion. But this didn't follow the track just yet. For that, I changed it to go to the control point instead, and added a second point that moves from the control point towards the end of the track at the same time. You see, to get a point along a quadratic Bezier like this, we need to interpolate between these two points using the same t value. And voila! Now, I wanted to sample many points along the lines to draw the track. So I did. But there was a problem. You see, even though these t values are evenly spaced, the points on the curve were not. Check this video out if you want to know why. I fixed this by using a small t value and then sampling them so that the distance between the points is about the same, with an error of a fraction of a pixel or so. Then I generated a new curve to the side, and another curve on the other side as well. The middle curve will be just used as a guide from now on. I drew lines in between these two curves at the evenly spaced locations I found earlier. After a bit of styling and tweaking parameters, I got what I wanted. Now it was time to generate the train, and I did that using the same technique as before by sampling locations along these curves. I fixed the width and the length of the cars and generated several of them with some spacing in between. In hindsight, I didn't like this technique at all. Then I wanted things to look nicer. For inspiration, all I had to do was look outside. To make the rocks, I started generating many small circles and placing them along the track by interpolating from the left to the right with a slight offset. I then used randomness to make things look more natural, and randomized the colors to have different shades of grey. I played with the colors a bit, and looked out the window to get more inspiration. For the lake, I just changed the color to blue, and boom, lake but I still wanted to have some grass around the track. I was quite close to my destination, so to do this quickly I used the same technique as for the rocks, but I drew a green outline instead of the grey fills, and I was surprised with how well it looked. I still had some time, so I played a bit with the design of the train, trying different colors, adding a rounded tip, visualizing the links in between the cars, a front window, and that was it for the day. See you guys.